guys, happy Sunday. It's Sunday morning here. I'm gonna go ahead and walk out and show you what we got going on here. We have got smoke still. Luckily, right here is just beautiful today. It's clear. It's not very warm today. It's only, I think the high is gonna be 78 degrees. No wind, but that is all coming from the lion's head fire. Green Ridge is don't know what happened there. So Green Ridge isn't really a problem anymore. The other day when I we did a fire update, I thought it was the Green Ridge fire blowing up, but in all reality, it was Lion's Head. So it was further that direction, but it looked like the Green Ridge fire, but still really smoky and not looking good on containment numbers. Let's go to the shop and talk about this Lion's Head fire and the rest of the forest fires we have in our area. Doing a little update today on the fires. Uh, stay tuned, and uh, we're gonna once we get back in the shop, I want to show you what we got going on in there. All right, guys, hold on. All right, so these are just kind of local here. There's a lot of fires going on in California. There's a lot of fires going on in Washington, Idaho. So White River, we're gonna go north to south here. White River is the biggest fire locally that's within an hour and a half from our location. And it's 14,391 per acreage and 10% contained. Uh, it's burning down a river canyon area. It's really hard to get in there. Like we talked about on a previous episode here is that we lost a helicopter pilot uh, in that one. Since then, I've, there was a seat incident where two seat aircraft down in California had a mid-air collision. I do believe it was in, actually I don't think it was in California. The guy that, um, I got the information from lives down there and does a YouTube channel and I was watching his channel but two seat pilots were flying too closely and when they when they did their dump and were going out uh, it sounds like they got in a little bit of a predicament and had a mid-air collision not good at all so moving down to the P515 fire which is on the Indian res is 4609, 80% containment on that one. Probably the last time you're going to hear about the P515 fire. Uh, that one's pretty much out. It's literally 20 more percent containment, and it's it's out. So it's they're basically just doing mop up right now. Lion's Head fire. This one we don't have very good containment numbers on right now. It's 6611, and it's that's actually gone up since the last time. It's gone up. Um, 4,000 acres since the other day. 4,000 acres and, and it hasn't even been a week since we've reported on this. So, and yeah, 20% containment and that's the smoke that we just went outside and we were looking at. That that's where that smoke's coming from. I got into a heated discussion with um, somebody on Facebook saying that the Green Ridge fire was blowing up again and I'm like, no, that's, that's the lion head because the Green Ridge fire is no longer a concern. They really did a good job the whole time that fire was burning. It isn't all the way out yet, but we are 60% contained and the acreage is 4338 compared to almost a week ago. Acreage on it was 4338. So we haven't even changed on acreage at all. So they, they haven't, it hasn't grown, but they still don't have 100% containment because they've got spot fires mop up. So that one's pretty much unless something happens i won't bring that one up again it's it's pretty much out and the frog fires the last time you're gonna hear that one it stopped at 40 40 20 4, 020 acres and it's 90 percent contained of, as of this morning so it's out it's it's unless something really bad happened it's it's not it's it's out so pretty much what right now we just got that white river and the lion's head fire that's doing some devastation but um, yeah, there was a, a commenter the other day that lived in Camp Sherman that he wasn't getting any updates and to keep these rolling sorry I haven't done this sooner but Green Ridge is not right now is not a threat to anybody they've got it pretty much sealed in so acreage hasn't grown in several days and we got a 60% containment on it I think they're having some problems with actually putting bigger numbers on containment because of some of the terrain that the fire got into. We're talking really steep terrain. And what's that brush called, Kyle? That brush that grows up there 
the stuff I was driving my Jeep through and you got on the radio and told me to, to calm it down a little bit. That, what's oh, that brush called? That's, uh... Uh, I can't think of the name. They were actually, I was watching a, a little update from the Forest Service and they were talking about this brush. It's just Manzanita. Manzanita, yeah. Yeah, so it's really thick in that area and it's really hard. They've got to, to get back and get in some of those hill, those canyons and hills to get some blinds. It's, I guess it's real sucker up there right now. So. Yeah, that's all we got. I, as we're talking, I can hear an air tanker. It sounds like an MD-83 going over right now. So it sounds like tanker either 102 or 103 is flying over the house to head out to the Lions Fire today. the uh, day. Little update. It's over. Here, yeah. yeah. We're, we're filming a video in a video right now. Yeah. You guys will have a video on this coming out. Uh, I'll probably get it out sometime this week. It's actually been a – it's going to be a really – really busy work week for me so yeah Kyle's over right now and we're doing something to this guy you're gonna have to stay tuned for that but uh, it uh, it was running like absolute garbage hot garbage hot, and... hot garbage. so we're gonna take care of that and she's gonna run great again and yesterday I bought something didn't I Kyle you did. Uh, we're gonna be so everybody knows about the pajanga on the channel some this isn't going to be I, it might be popular it might not be but the pajanga right outside this it, it, huh what it pains you yeah, yeah. Like, well it does it's, it's like in the mustang world just got a model built v6 couldn't afford the 50 well we're fixing it so that boat is about 4,000 pounds. It's a it's a heavy girl. It does, once it gets up into a plane, it scoots. That thing, the best I've done is like 52, 53 mile an hour on the water. She flat moves once you get her up there in the R's. But trying to get five or six people into a plane sometimes, it just doesn't have the low end oomph to get it up quick. And so I bought, I'm going to throw a picture in right now, I, I, I bought a 1986 Corvette engine, what is it called, the LT9 or L, 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 L9 something series. On paper, everybody's going to kind of like, well, those didn't make that much power. It's because the computers are dumbed down. I've done a lot of research and they wake up. So we're going to go to a, get rid of a carburation V643. And we're going full fuel injection, Corvette uh, 350. I'm trying to think of that L number is, but I, it, what, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll talk about it later. LT9, LT9 L9T, something. It's it's something weird. But anyway, guys, 86 vet motor, full fuel injection is going in this this winter. It's gonna be one of our winter projects. It actually won't take very long. No, everything's, there. everything's there, and it's a boat engine it's there's so much room to work on them so little update got a lot of mess going on here because i'm just organizing getting just getting settled in with the new workbench that i built the other day turned out well but i'm just you know organizing sockets and doing a lot over here in this corner shelves are working out well i'm gonna have to rebuild these shelves over here and so you got anything to add kyle no no yep, i'm i'm good all right i'll uh update everybody when we get done yeah we're gonna be filming we're finished filming well he's doing a time we're doing a time lapse right now but you guys will have to stay tuned for that episode we'll see you later this week guys for that episode i might do another update throughout this week but i've got something else that um we're gonna be bringing over to work on here real soon actually today and i might actually film another update tonight so stay tuned for that update tonight guys